Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Melissa and welcome to the very first Christmas video. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are. So basically, I went thrifting for Christmas gifts. My family last year did Thriftmas. If you were here last year during Vlogmas, I did Thriftmas. I'm not doing Vlogmas this year. It's just, um, I have a lot of stuff going on. I have exams and stuff. But I will be doing some Christmas videos here and there and everywhere. So I went thrifting for Christmas gifts. And I have so many fun gifts that are thrifted. Thrifting is so good for our planet. And if you are able to buy somebody a thrifted gift, that is incredible. I know that not everybody is really into thrifting. So I don't know. There's like a fine line between thrifting for somebody. You kind of have to be like a little bit like in a different sort of relationship with that person, I feel. Um, but hopefully one day it will just become a normal thing. However, I am a really big thrifter and I feel like most of the people in my life will understand when I get them something from the thrift store because that is kind of my thing. Yeah, I have a bunch of really fun Christmas gifts and Christ Christmas gifts ideas for you guys and for me and for my friends and I have a bunch of stuff for like anybody. Best part about thrifting and celebrating thriftmas with me is that you save some money. So basically each gift has a thrifted item. Some of it's all thrifted, some of it has one thrifted item plus some non-thrifted items. I tried to do like a balance so you guys can get some of this stuff as, as long along with finding similar stuff at the thrift store because I know that sometimes it is difficult to find the exact same thing that I thrifted, almost impossible. But I tried to get like something that a lot of you guys can or will see a lot at your thrift stores that I see a ton at my thrift store. But without further ado, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Melissa. Make sure to follow me on all my social media, my Instagram, my Depop, my Snapchat, my Twitter. Make sure to follow me up all on there. Also, Threads boxes are back for Christmas. A very, very good, sustainable Christmas present as well. If you're into that, make sure to check out my Depop for those. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so the first gift is kind of for the fashionista girl. This is a uh, mostly thrifted. Burberry-esque bag. I see so many bags, vintage luxury bags, even if you would want to give something like that away. This is not real Burberry, but it's that Novacek print, and I think a lot of girls who are super into fashion would really appreciate that. I also thrifted this insanely cool Moschino Couture little Powerpuff Girl sweater, which is a killer find. This is too freaking perfect for the fashion lover, the girl who has everything. This Moschino Couture with the Powerpuff Girl. If she's into fashion, or he, you wanna look for something like this at the thrift store. And it's very, very possible to find. So keep your eyes peeled. And anybody who would get this is literally freaking blessed. So if you can find anything similar to that, that is insane. I also added, you know, some nail polishes, as well as some candy, can't go wrong with candy, and then some really funky sunglasses, which are from Yes Style. Okay, the next gift is perfect for literally anybody. A movie gift. I see these popcorn type of things all over the thrift store, so I saw this. This is literally for anybody, like literally any age. This is perfect. They had a bunch of these at my thrift store. I always see them. They also sell them at the dollar store, and you can just add, you know, your own little bag of popcorn. You could add like the cheap popcorn popcorn from the dollar store or this bougie ash popcorn which I got from Winners. Um, still not that expensive. $3.99 but it just looks really cool. It's colorful, very aesthetically pleasing. You can just like give them this. This is a cute gift and honestly it cost $5 in total. The next gift is literally the cutest freaking present that I've ever put together in my whole entire life. By the way guys, the packaging for all of my presents are pretty much in bins and we're staying away from using wrapping paper and stuff because that's so bad for the environment so yeah, Mickey Minnie Mouse whatever you want to call it um, Mickey Mouse there's Pluto in there I think this gift is so dope and you can find all of this stuff at the thrift store which is crazy cool Disney little mock neck long sleeve which I found today 
for $5.99, so cute. And then I also found this little cup, which was $1.99. And then I found this guy right here, which is like a little Mickey plush toy. If you go to the kids section, they also have like Mickey backpacks, which is like so cool. I should have got it, but I just like wasn't thinking. I actually picked up this pajama set right here. You don't even need to include this pajama set at all, but I thought this was a cute little touch. Um, this could, again, be male or female. They had male and female um, Mickey Mouse pajama sets. But yeah, they also had these at Walmart too. So very cool. Probably the easiest gift idea. It is a coffee table book. You can never go wrong with a coffee table book, especially for somebody who is like young and is moving into somewhere and understands coffee table books a little bit more. I feel like if I gave my mom one of these, she'd be like, what is this for? I picked some up that are kind of like really cool, aesthetically pleasing for random hotels, restaurants, and, sh and shops in London. England, I thought that this was just really cool looking and it would look so cool on a table, like a coffee table, my glass table. You could get like fashion books. Try to stay in the sections that are like crafts, hobbies, and fashion. Um, history, the other one's geography, entertainment, biographies, that type of stuff. That way you can find like some really cool, like, have this Princess Diana one which I think is like really cool too. Uh, this is definitely the easiest gift. You just kind of throw a ribbon over top of them and it would look super cute. The next gift is super fun and I would love to have this. It's super inexpensive. It is literally a freaking coffee box. So I got this wicker basket from Valley Village. Again, definitely check out all of their wicker baskets and use them as wrapping paper or like your, your gift so they can open it. And honestly, it's like way more handy because then they have a cute wicker basket. The wicker basket was like $4 and then I found the cutest cow mug ever. They have so many freaking mugs to choose from. One floats your boat or floats the person that you're buying's boat. This personally floats my boat. And then along with it, I just added, you know, some like a macaroon, coffee. So just check what type of coffee they have, like Maker, they have Keurig, Tassimo. And then I got these really cool coffee syrup. So all three of those things were $15 plus the mug was $1.99 and the wicker basket was $4.99. So literally $20 for all this stuff is insane and it's literally the cutest gift ever. The next gift is perfect for like your friend if you're doing Secret Santa or something. So if you guys saw me pick up this really cute, I don't even know, is this like a, like a cupcake tray or like a cookie tray or something? They have so many cool things like this at the thrift store, but I was like, you could use this as a jewelry tray. So what I did was I grabbed this and then I got like a bunch of jewelry and stuff. So I have some bougie jewelry. I actually just went to like Walmart and picked up these like hoops and stuff. You can go to Forever 21, you can get some rings. You know, you could buy all the jewelry from the thrift store if you want. I got this really cute ring from the thrift store tonight, like some candy or chocolate like all over it. And I just thought this was really, really cute for like a secret Santa. This is what I like to call my Jess gift because this is perfect, a perfect gift for my best friend, Jessica. She's like more just like basic Ugg sweater, go to school type of girl. This is perfect for somebody like this. So I first started off with this blue Calvin Klein um, sweater, pullover sweat, sweater that I got in the men's section. This was $10.99, this little Louis Vuitton little clutch thing that you can like put your lipsticks in, stick it in your purse, probably fake, um, but it's still like cute, you know? And then to that, I got like some spiritual stuff. She's very like earthy type of girl. This is a sacred salt kit, which I got from Winners. And then I also got her some dry shampoo because this bitch literally goes through this stuff tomorrow and this is the biggest one that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I got her one of those and then I got a humble brush is what it's called and it is wooden toothbrush. Again, great for the planet and something she would be into. And then just like topping it off, this is kind of just something I threw in here, but a Starbucks gift card. Okay, moving on to the next Christmas gift. Little travel bag, but like a bougie ass travel bag. I come across these so freaking much. Like I'd never even look for them and I always come across them. So I'm sure that you'll be able to find some. I have so many, look at this like really cute Dior one. Well, this was literally $1.99. Nobody has to know that though. And then you can fill it with like literally whatever you want. It can be candy. 
trendy. It can be makeup, whatever the person likes. Like I just like put some of like my makeup products in the in here. The front counter where all they have all like the little sample, like the mini samples, and spend like thirty dollars on some like cool samples or something. You can put anything that you want, but I think this is a really cute gift idea. The next gift idea is a. Scarf. I have this beautiful Fendi scarf. I wrapped it up like this. Hand it to them like this with a little card in it. Scarves are just like a really cute accessory to give to somebody. It doesn't matter what size they are or anything like that. Just a cute accessory. It does not even have to be a luxury scarf. You can probably find a bunch of cute scarves. This is just one that I had laying around. Moving on to my next gift. It is for like your chef or your cook or your mom. Or cook. Or, like, I mean the person who is like a chef or a cook to you. Not your personal one because you have one of those. I'm really jealous. So somebody who loves to cook or is really into it, I thrifted these incredible oven mitts. They are cherry printed. They're so cute. You throw these in the wash. They're literally good as new as long as they're not like super beat up. You can tell when you're looking at them. These ones are literally brand spanking new. So I was super pumped when I found them. Just grab yourself a cookbook. You can go to the cookbook aisle or even go to your local like chapters, indigo, bookstore, whatever, and find yourself a cookbook. And this is literally the cutest gift. And again, super inexpensive, $20 for the book, literally probably like, I probably spent like 99 cents on these oven mitts. Perfect gift, super cute and very thoughtful. Mm, for your Y2K princess queen. Oh my gosh, this is literally the most dope gift ever. If somebody gave this to me, I would actually cry and go to heaven. This is literally so lit. I should definitely give this to like, I don't know, should I do a giveaway with this? It's like so freaking cool. So as you guys saw, I found those Dolce & Gabbana um, sunglasses, which were really cool at the thrift. Also thrifted some Skechers, this BB top. We got like a grommet belt in there and everything. Add some lip glosses, some, um, I got this juicy couture little hat, beanie hat, this vintage Vogue magazine, which vintage magazines are so cool to find at the thrift store. Some butterfly stickers and these hair clips. This is literally a sweat. This is literally the coolest gift ever. Oh, and this Playboy perfume from Walmart. So cool. Such like a Y2K aesthetic and I'm living for it. The next gift is like a vintage print. I love looking at the home decor section at the thrift store because you always find the coolest things. So I have this hanging upstairs. I have so many like Harley Davidson prints and like old school looking photographs and everything like that. They're inexpensive as well. I don't have the price on this anymore, but I promise you it's probably under $10. Um, yeah. Super cool. You can find some really cool things that like anybody would like. Anybody who's in like a dorm room or anything like that or literally a parent. Anybody that has their own little space would probably love something if it's really aesthetically pleasing or something that they're really into. If you are stumped, this is the perfect gift. It is literally a bunch of graphic tees thrown together. I mean some really cool graphic tees that I've obviously picked out and stuff. You kind of have to, you obviously have to look to like find some. but. For the most part, it is pretty simple to find some really cool looking graphic tees, something that somebody's really into. Um, so I've got some Nike, I've just got some Harley Davidson ones, um, this is like a Crush Pop one. Just some really cool graphic tees for the person who just literally loves to wear a tee and jeans. Add some candy on top for a nice little cute touch. This is a perfect gift for just about anybody. All right, for another one of the hype beasts in your life, there's some items just really thrown together. This is a good guy's gift or girl's gift. I found these really cool um, polo bear shams, like pillow shams, which I thought were really cool. Um, this NASCAR like mug, which is also really dope. And then these sunglasses, which are really on trend. You know, you could throw anything, any sunglasses, whatever, whoever you're buying for. And this gift, this gift was literally under five dollars. So, all right, this is for the Tommy hype beast. Literally, somebody who loves Tommy wears it all the time. Literally, could buy this for me because I literally wear it all the time too. So this duffel bag, I actually bought retail. You can find them probably on the website. I know that they have cheaper ones, less expensive ones, they have reusable bags and stuff like that that you could use. Inside, however, it's a bunch of thrifted goodies for small candy. As you can see, I have a trend. I always like to give people candy. I don't know why. Then we have some Tommy sneakers, super easy to thrift. Actually,
actually have to clean these stuff. I have this Tommy Girl little perfume. I think it's like a perfume kit or whatever, but it's a really cute accessory to like put on your dresser. Somebody who loves Tommy Hilfiger, you can find this stuff all the time at the thrift stores. But then I also found this brand new with tags Tommy Hilfiger graphic t-shirt, which is really cool and perfect for the Tommy lover. And then of course the essential Tommy jeans if you know what size they are. Next gift that we have again is super fun and super easy. It is just a game. Here is where it's at. Add some candy, you know, a nice big bag of chips even, and you have a freaking fun ass time going on. Especially if you bring this to a party for someone, you guys can't even tell me you won't. Drink some wine, pull out some twister, eat some chips, and have a freaking lit ass time. Like that is a lit ass time. I'm about to go play some Twister. Alright, and the last gift that I have to share with you guys is kind of the one that you go to when you pretty much run out of ideas or maybe don't know the person as well or just honestly a good gift for like anybody at any given time. But it is basically just a relaxation. It's really heavy with this wine in here. Um, but it is so cute. So as you guys saw, I picked up this brand spanking new Bath and Body Works candle, which smells like a freaking dream. I'm pretty sure I have this in. Oh my god, it smells like the Brazilian bum bum cream. <gasps> oh my god, so freaking good. And to add to it, I found like some fuzzy socks at the dollar store. Some like spark soap, sparkling glitter, fused bath salt. Cozy and added some really cute Hello Kitty face masks which I don't know why I'm not focusing. Hello. So yeah, I found some face masks, a little magazine, of course, most importantly, a bottle of wine. But that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really, really worked hard on it and I hope you guys got some ideas for this upcoming season to, I don't know, give some Christmas gifts to the people around you. Rift some gifts. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! You're as cuddly as a cactus, you're as charming as an eel, Mr. Gray.